Hey guys, welcome to another one time review. Today I've got two big bags of stuff and I'm not gonna eat all the stuff in the bags and I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I'll do it like this. So these are, I'll show you this one first. Um, these are the White Castle uh, Hamburger Castle Bites. Um, it is made with 100% beef and onions wrapped in a delicious golden crust. And like I said, these are the new, they're new, first of all, party packs. So they're really, really big, always tasty and fun to eat. These are both of them. So I've got the hamburger version and then I got the cheeseburger Castle Bites burger, uh, version. They're both two pounds, eight ounces. Let me see if I can slide them for uh, Two pounds, eight ounces, a 1.13 kilogram uh, bag. So they're big, huge bags. Um, they're both made the same way. So let me see if there's a, I doubt they're the same calories, but they might be. No. Okay, so the hamburger one, we've got six bites are 170 calories. And there's your other info for you. And like I said, they cook the same way, so, so I'm not worried about that. And then you've got uh, the cheeseburger ones are 190 calories for six, and there's your info for those. So cooking directions, um, of course you can do the conventional oven, which is honestly, that's probably the best way to do it, but we don't do no ovens on this channel. We don't need no stinking oven, so we're gonna, there's the directions if you need them, but we're gonna do the microwave, because they gave you microwave directions, that means they're, they say it's okay in the microwave when you just can't wait. Um, oh, and the price of these, by the way, Kroger for $7.99. So $8, but I'm telling you, you get a huge bag. 13 servings of six, if that tells you anything. That's a lot. Um, so anyway, you arrange six frozen bites in a circle on a microwave safe plate. Microwave it high for one and a half minutes. Let it sit in the microwave for one to two minutes before eating uh, and then enjoy and keep them frozen until they're ready to eat. What I'm gonna do is I've just got a paper plate and since it's the same time and everything for both of them, I'm going to put three each on a paper plate. But to keep them, I think they're going to look the same. I got me an ink pen and I'm going to put C, B, and B on my paper plate. That way I can keep track of uh, which one's the cheeseburger and which one's the burger. So this is my hamburger, the burger, the B. I'm going to get three of these out and put it on the burger side. And then the cheeseburger. I'm gonna take three of these out. So they're kind of like, they look like pizza bites or, or something like that. That's what they look like. So I'm gonna get these in the microwave for, you can see what they look like. I'm gonna get these in the microwave for uh, the one and a half minutes and I'll be back when they come out. All right, so here they are out of the microwave. In the camera, at least from my view, the cheeseburger ones look a little darker. I think they are a little bit darker. So I wanted to cut them. Um, I'm going to cut the hamburger ones first, just to let you see what's inside of them. They're very, very soft. Um, plenty of beef in there, though. Uh, the ground beef is a good amount of that. And it looks like it's just ground beef in there. And the cheeseburger ones, you can see, they leaked out a little bit. They smell like um, egg rolls. Like, you know, that fried egg roll kind of smell. That's what the smell of these is like. These are a lot tougher. They do not want to cut. Um, I just wanted to cut you, cut them to show you. Okay, this one didn't leak, so let's try this one. Yeah, that's really, really tough. So basically the same thing, and they've got some, they've got some cheese in there, but not, not a whole lot. These leaked out, like I said, and uh, they're really hard to cut open. They're kind of tough. So like I said. Is the oven the best way? 100% the oven's the best way. But normally you don't have ovens at work. But if you have, if you're making these at home, do them in the oven. But anyway, I'm gonna take these over the table. We'll try them out. All right, so I'm gonna try the hamburger ones first. Well, I'll try the one I cut in half. But <sighs> microwave texture is not the best texture. They're very, very tough and. Um, yeah, tough and chewy. You're kind of like um, chewing leather or something. They're not quite that tough, but they're they are very tough. Especially the sealed edges, the edges of this where they've sealed up the little pocket. Um, it's really really dense and tough. So like I said, 100% make them in the oven if you can. But if you're at work and you're in a pinch, you can make them in the microwave.
flavor wise they do remind you a little bit of a white castle's hammer they have that very distinct um ground beef and onion flavor um it, it, they taste good I, I like the flavor of them actually quite a bit um let me try one of the cheeseburger ones now The cheaper ones are drier and they don't seem to have as much stuff. My guess is they do these by weight. Um, so they weigh each one of them, you know, they fill them according to weight. The cheese takes up some of that weight. So there's not as much ground beef and onion in there. So they don't taste as strong. This is the one that did not leak. So it should have all the cheese inside. It's a lot drier. I mean, a, a whole lot drier. Even the filling inside is dry, which doesn't make any sense because it's got cheese. It seems like the cheese would make it have even more moisture, but but it did not. At least in microwaving them. The hamburger ones are the way to go. The, the hamburger ones just have a better texture. Even though they're a little tough on the outside, the cheeseburger ones really got tough and really, really dry inside. And like I said, it makes no sense because there's supposed to be cheese in there, but and some of the cheese leaked out, so we know there is cheese there, but they're, they're much, much drier. And um, even the outside of them look different and they were, they're just drier. Um, so I would go for the hamburger ones if you're gonna microwave them, period. Um, now, if you're going to put them in the oven, it probably doesn't make as much difference. Um, the cheeseburger ones, I would still prefer the hamburger ones because they're, you're, you're losing weight with the cheese. Um, that's just added weight that, that I don't care about cheese anyway. It really, you can't taste a lot of the cheese a lot of times anyway. So I would much rather have the hamburger ones with the extra hamburger and the onion in there than the cheeseburger ones. That's just my opinion. So um, flavor-wise, I do like the flavor of the hamburger ones. Um, you know, I'm gonna give the hamburger ones for a, this is more for a, this is not really mostly for a dinner. This is mostly for a snack. Just time, anytime you eat like uh, pizza rolls or whatever, um, that's the same kind of thing. So if you eat it for dinner, that's fine, but just make a whole tray of them, eat a bunch of them. Um, I'm gonna give the hamburger a four out of five, and I'm gonna give the cheeseburger ones probably more of a three and a half out of five. They're both above average flavor wise. I did like the flavor of both of them. Just the hamburger edges out the cheeseburger by just a little bit. But definitely worth trying out. If you got kids at home that like uh, hamburgers, go for it. I think they'll really enjoy them. Pull them in the oven, bake them up for dinner, uh, let them dip them in ketchup if they want to. It, I think they'll really enjoy them. So yeah, definitely worth eating. More at home than I would at lunch, but uh, definitely worth trying out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.